在山。Welcome to healing our brokenness. And today's episode is episode number thirty-four. Surrender. When we think of the word surrender, there's usually not a positive connotation. When we think of the word surrender, nine times out of ten, we are thinking giving up. Giving in, surrender involves yielding, giving up our sense of control, and sometimes we think of it as calling uncle, raising the white flag, so to speak. All of these different things, but in the sense of when we think of surrender as giving up, it's not negatively giving up when it refers to. Surrendering our lives, our thoughts, and our actions to God. Surrender means that we have decided that we acknowledge that God is sovereign. We are honoring that sovereignty, and we are knowing where we end and where God begins. If we had the choice, there are some trials that we just would not sign up for. However, God gives us these trials in order to refine us like gold, and these trials will show that our faith is genuine. It is being tested as fire tests and purifies gold. Though your faith is far more precious than mere gold. So when your faith remains strong through many trials, it will bring you much praise and glory and honor on the day when Jesus Christ is revealed to the whole world, and that is taken from First Peter one and seven. One of the worst things that we can do is think that we have it all under control. The devil tricks us into thinking that we can fix problems on our own. And that we just have to figure out the right plan or the right formula, or perhaps we didn't do something enough. A very tender spot for any mother's heart is their children. Oh, how I wish that I could take away the pain and the effects from trauma that my kids have endured over the last six years. However, that is impossible. No matter how old they are, our kids' issues stay on our hearts. However, if we don't surrender these very issues to God, then we find ourselves emotionally, mentally, and spiritually drained. Of course, because of the mind-body connection. These issues can take a turn on the fourth area, and that is the physical aspect. They can literally eat us alive with immobility and heaviness of heart. And Satan knows what's important to us, and he attacks that very area, which sometimes happens to be our children. I have just recently had my moment of realizing that my kids will have to have their own journey of healing. I can support them, love them unconditionally, and want the best for them. However, I cannot take on the responsibility of doing the work for them. God has a journey. For each and every one of us, 
and that includes a journey for our children. It hinders them from growth when they are having someone else to try to take responsibility for what they need to take responsibility for. And in cases like that as well, when we try to overstep our boundaries towards anyone for that matter, it makes that person resentful uh, of us, even though the truth of the matter is that they need to do the work, but they will resent us for trying to enable them to do the work. And the next thing you know, you end up in a situation of codependency as well. We're hindering from growth and we're also hindering our children as well as others for receiving clarity on their own. Surrender is not a once in a lifetime thing. If only it was that easy. It is daily. In Luke 9 and 23, Christ tells us, if anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Focusing on God and his promises helps us in this journey that's called life. And so I want to leave a prayer with you today on this holiday Memorial Day that we're celebrating. Dear God, thank you for the shining beauty that comes from our trials when we are refined. Thank you that we can take all of our burdens and all of our kids' burdens and lay them down at your feet. Please help us to understand that surrender is a daily thing and sometimes hourly, sometimes about a minute, and sometimes about a second. We have to put our trust in you and in you alone. In your holy and precious son's name, amen. And as a thought to leave with you today, a little bit of food for thought, what area or areas are you holding back on surrendering to God? Is it the issues with your children? Is it the relationship of a friend, family member, co-worker, another brother or sister in Christ, a neighbor? God can handle it all. And we often forget that. We give it to him and we take it back. And we give it to him and and we take it back. Thank you for listening to Healing Our Brokenness, episode 34, Surrender. Have a blessed rest of your evening. He gave more than I could have known. to places to learn instead of burn and perish away in nights never so cold without his grace how could I say that I've seen the world from his great love how could I know what he could love that refines Yeah.
for me